second graders today, we're going to talk more about vocabulary words. And we're going to talk about how we can add a prefix to a base word and it changes the meaning a little bit. So on this poster here, I have some very common prefixes that you will see when you're reading. We have the prefix un, un, which means not. We have the prefix pre, which means before. We have the prefix dis, which means not again. So dis and un can get a little confusing. And we have a prefix re, which means again. Now a prefix, notice these are just a couple of letters, two or three letters that you put on a base word and it changes the meaning. We've been talking about suffixes in foundations and how you can add ing and ed and er and less to base words. So today we're focusing on the beginning or the front of a base word. So up in this word box, I have um, some words and I underlined a few base words, not all of them, but you can see where a prefix is placed in front of these base words. It makes the, a new word, it changes the meaning of the base word a little bit. And notice there's no spacing between your prefix and your base word. And you can't just stick any prefix on a base word. It has to make sense. So it does take practice, just like those suffixes. We can't add a suffix to every word. It has to make sense. So I'm gonna just do a few of these with you today to get us started and we will continue this skill. But I, in the bottom part here, I have put a box around base words. And in front of it, I have almost like a definition with it. So we need to think about taking this base word, adding a prefix on re or dis. And when we add that prefix, it's going to mean this whole definition. So let's look at this first one. And I promise it'll get easier the more we practice. So we have the base word agree. I want to make this a new word that means you do not agree. So I need to think, can I add un in front of it and say unagree? Can I add re in front of it and say reagree? Or can I add dis in front of it and say disagree? Today we have a box that has our choices, which makes it easier. So do you see a word up here in this word box that has our base word, but in front of the base word, they added that prefix. So now it means do not agree. And I'm hoping that you found this word disagree. Okay, notice how I added the prefix dis. Okay, it does, it means you do not agree with somebody, you might disagree with them. Let's keep going and do a couple more. So the word is start, that's my base word. I wanna change the base word. I want to say something that means to start again. So I wanna keep my base word, but I want to add one of these three prefixes in front of it so that it means to start again. Should I say unstart? restart or distart. And you can look up in our word box if you're not sure and see if you found it. I'm hoping you maybe even heard it when I said it. I hope you said restart. You're going to start it again. You might restart a race or restart a movie. You're going to start it again. Okay, this one says safe, that's our base word, but I want it to mean not safe. So once again, I'm taking this base word. I want to add one of these three prefixes in front of it. And when I do that, safe is going to have a new meaning that says not safe. So look up in that word box, but think about all these prefixes, unsafe, resafe, dissafe, if something is not safe, it is unsafe. Let's do one more. We have the word happy. That's a base word. I want to add a prefix so that it means not happy. Our three choices today are un, re, or dis. So if you're not happy, are you unhappy, re-happy, or dishappy? 
Does one of those sound better? Do you see one in the word box? Unhappy, excellent job. Now I'm gonna leave it there and your teachers might wanna do the last two with you. You might just wanna think about it yourself. You might wanna spend some time looking up in the word box and finding base words on some of these that I did not underline. Maybe talk about the meanings of these words and how those prefixes changed the meaning of the base word a little bit. So we'll continue to work on prefixes, but I just wanted to get us started on it today. So have a great day and I'll see you later.